This is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep, Wrangler, and Gladiator headquarters. Today we are doing a walk around on this like new 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in Firecracker Red. This vehicle has the 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar motor. Comes with the hard top, the heated seats, heated steering wheel, and the 8.4 system with the navigation also has the towing package, spray and bed liner, LED lighting group, and LED bed lighting. Comes with a Mopar factory hard fold up tonneau cover, color matching fenders. And we're just gonna do a walk around on this Jeep. We're gonna get up close. It's exciting to see our first used Gladiator. Uh, it has around 8,000 miles on it. so. We're gonna get up close and see how everything's held up in the first 8,000 miles. This one comes with the Falcon Wild Peak MT tires, painted and polished aluminum rims, has the our LT 285-70R17 tires. And you can see that the tires for 8,000 miles still look pretty new. I'd say at least 80, 90% of the tread left on them, um, which you'd kind of expect, has the Rubicon Fox shocks, frame and underbody. Looks like it's held up very nicely. I didn't see any corrosion starting, which isn't always the case uh, with brand new vehicles. I know I've seen some GMs and stuff with very little miles on them with, uh, with corrosion starting. Has the LED lighting group. You get the LED running lights, LED headlamps, LED lights in the fenders, as well as the LED fog lamps. Front bumper, I don't see any fading or anything like that. On the front bumper has the red tow hooks, the seven slotted grill. I didn't see any rock chips on the paint. This was a one owner, locally driven, always serviced at our service facility here at Summit Auto. Color matching fenders. I didn't see any rock chips or anything like that on there. This rim's in excellent condition. It does come with the rock rails. I didn't see any corrosion on them. You get the door hinge with a say T50 on them, which is kind of cool. Also has the little sandals on the plastic piece there and the Jeep driving up the side. Paint still looks very glossy. So one thing I'd like to point out is that they do have a 3M tape on the front of the back fenders to prevent rock chips and everything. And that has held up nicely as well. Frame and underbody. You can see very little, absolutely no corrosion get the Fox shocks back here. Back tires, I mean, they almost look brand new. I'd say 95% of the tread on those back tires. The LED bed lighting, or the LED uh, tail lamps, I should say. The rear bumper, no dents or dings in that. Backup parking sensors, you get the full towing package, which includes receiver hitch, four pin, and seven pin wiring. This one also has the four upfitter switches inside. The Mopar, Hard fold up tonneau cover. That looks like it's holding up nicely. It has the shock down assist tailgate. You do get a 115 volt, 400 watt plug in back here. The LED bed lighting, which is really nice with the tonneau cover. You can see everything really good and a very nice spray and bed liner. Locking tailgate. And this has an HD backup camera, which we'll check out in just a little bit. You get the granite crystal Jeep lettering and the granite crystal rear bumper. You get the rock rails on the rear bumper, so if you are off-roading, you uh, aren't gonna wreck your back of your box here. This is a five-foot box. This rim is in nice shape as well, no scuffs or scrapes on that. Has the enter and go system for your keyless entry. Just have the key in your pocket. Has the blind spot monitoring, cross path detection, heated mirrors. This one also has the adaptive cruise control, which is kind of a neat feature. Inside the Rubicon package, this one has the black leather interior, no rips or tears with the red stitching. So that's held up really nicely. You get the side curtain airbags there as well. Factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. And as we hop inside here, you can see that this one has 8,134 miles. Digital speedometer, outside temperature and compass display. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. The real leather wrap steering wheel, that's held up very nicely. 
This has the adaptive cruise and the regular cruise, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and then audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. You get the red trimmed dash. This is actually a metal piece here with leather wrapped on the top. Has the 8.4 touchscreen radio. This is a 4C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities, so you can project your screen from your phone right to the screen there if you didn't like the factory navigation it comes with. You also can do your climate controls here, AM, FM, and Sirius XM capabilities. So notice I got gloves on. It was kind of hard to get that touch screen going. So you can do your climate controls up here, or you can do them out here, down here if you got gloves on or just don't like the screen, uh, which is kind of nice. You have your heated seats and heated steering wheel button there as well. This has start-stop capabilities, stability control, those backup parking sensors, you can turn those off, and then is your speed select crawl control. Down here you have your power windows, and this is really what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon, um, other than the shocks. Uh, you get the rear and front locking diff, you also have a sway bar disconnect and an off-road plus mode. Four auxiliary switches, part of that tow group, and then you do get a USB U AUGS and a USB-C jack there as well. 4x4 shifter on the floor. This one has the 8-speed automatic transmission with the little gladiator symbol there. And it does have the remote start with the keyless entry. And it does have that flipper key there as well. Passenger seat, excellent condition. This one has the insulated hard top. So it's a foam that's wrapped in cloth material. It just kind of deadens a little bit of the outside road noise, keeps it a little bit warmer in the winter um, for insulation. Has the SOS and assist buttons, part of that 8.4, and it has an auto dimming mirror. This one also has the home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. Looks really nice inside. We'll take a quick look at the back seats. I'd have to give this an A plus as far as condition with 8,000 miles on it. You really don't see 8,000 mile vehicles this clean. Sliding rear window, that's a manual slide with the built-in rear defrost. These back seats do fold down and the headrests also fold as well, like so. You have storage back here and that is lockable storage. You can lock it with the key right there. So if you got the hard top off, you can actually uh, keep all your valuables back there. So one thing I did want to point out about the insulated hardtop, so you can see it goes all the way to the bottom there. Your bolts to get this hardtop off are underneath that. So you're going to have to remove that insulated piece to get this back hardtop piece off. There's another bolt right here. Um, so you've actually not had the hardtop off of one of these yet. Kind of hard to believe. Under here you have more lockable storage, so you get the locking key right there. Crushed eggshell look on the inside. This one has two USB-C's and two USB's back here as well as another 115 volt 400 watt plug-in. You get all your storage for your bolts right there as well. I'm just going to do, uh, actually the last thing has the child safety locks in the back doors. We're just going to do one more quick walk around. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video on this super clean used 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And uh, thanks for checking out the video and hopefully you'll have been able to tell just how clean this Jeep is all the way around inside and out and learn a little bit about the specific options on this one. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we got it. Go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. We're uploading videos just about every single day, so check us out there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Jeep and half-ton truck videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we really look forward to helping you with this super clean 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Thanks again.